uh, basically, uh, one of the biggest was in the pros is it allows the ability for uh, business expansion. Today's digital global economy, you need to be competitive and to diversify and sort of expand your business into other ventures. And through information technology integration, it allows you the ability um, you know, to go forth and do that. Um, also, if done correctly, it can lead to uh, increased efficiency and increase in profits for both companies. And um, again, another benefit as well is um, you know, it allows dynamic real-time integration of information. Um, some of the cons involved in the integration um, is that the process can be time consuming. Uh, it does require a very close relationship with all parties involved in the integration uh, to make sure that the data exchange is properly integrated and everything flows um, effectively. As well, um, if it's not managed appropriately, there could be security risks involved during the integration process. But overall, it's a worthwhile venture and it's great for both businesses. Uh, next, I'd like to pass it over to Mike and he'll talk to you about some of the I guess, like, uh, you know, the obvious team goal was to, like, you know, achieve the uh, B2B I, uh, integration between our two companies. And, you know, there were a lot of things we had to overcome uh, with, you know, during phase one and phase two. Like, you know, we had to, you know, figure out times to get together and stuff. And we had to, you know, each one of us had, like, different schedules. So it was kind of kind of hard to, um, you know, make make meeting times and stuff. Um, and next, we also had to work well together, too. We had to you know, set aside our differences, and we had to you know, bond together as a team. And we had to get you know, all of our work done, and uh, we had to do it right. And we also had to you know, get it on time, get it done on time, uh, too. So that's basically you know, roughly you know, a brief analysis of all the obstacles that we had overcome for phase one and phase two. And now I'm going to pass it over to Robert. He's going to explain the flowchart for our integrated business. Right. I'm Robert Nero. I was on the documentation team, so my roles included helping with the flowchart, keeping track of meeting minutes, and also the milestones. Now, as you can see from our chart, most of our, both our sites mostly remain the same. Everyone maintained their own web pages and everything. The only thing that did change is this bridge here, where one site would send, one site would produce code, and the other would accept it. This is a two-bridge street. When one produces, the other accepts it through that. There. That's about it. I'm Mike Dubel, and uh, I was a, a coder. And uh, I work, I'm mainly coding phase one, and but all code phase two, and this would be about phase two, which would be the PHP files for car dealer one and then uh, car dealer two. Uh, now each coder, uh, there's two coders for each team. Uh, Susha and Colin were the coders for car dealer two, and we, uh, me and uh, Mike Pileschi were the coders for Car Dealer 1. And uh, that is for car over there on this side is for uh, Car Dealer 2, and this is Car Dealer 1. And as you can see, uh, we try to make it a little funny, the, the name and everything. But uh, regardless, regardless to that, um, we, each team had to make uh, four PHP files. And uh, there's two accept uh, files, and there's two transfer files for each team. And uh, while we did that, uh, we also actually, we had a problem with our um, host. Uh, we used two different hosts, but uh, both of us had the same problem. Uh, we couldn't transfer the file or the information completely, so we actually uh, uh, went, pretty much bypassed that and put a text uh, document in there, so it actually just pulls the, the information in the block when you uh, hit the accept. And uh, we actually uh, will show you later on that we made a link for each uh, PHP file that will transfer it and uh, accept each car.
I think it's just saying what was actually added from phase one um, to phase two was the actual web functions to, to transfer and receive that data. Um, it's four, four functions except um, both cards and customer and, and transfer cards and customers. Um, they were implemented on both sides. So I can actually bring up the manual right now and show you. Here's our project milestone. As you can see, it was done in Microsoft Project. Basically, for the most part, we tried to keep it simple. What things need to be done, we set as milestones. And we put the work times where you most likely work on it. We didn't really try to go too fancy with the, with the uh, linking between tasks. Kind of went with a kiss analogy. For the most part, these all remain the same, but they did change a couple times where there were times where we just couldn't meet even though we expected to. That's, a, and like these ones, I think were the 18th or 16th at one time, we had to bump up to the 17th. And other than that, the, it's pretty self-explanatory. preset so now I can show you uh, uh, we're going to add the cars from uh, car dealer 2 which is a Sark Toyota
see, we uh, have starting with a one right here, and then uh, their cars are actually starting with a two. Uh, so if the transfer was complete to the car. Any questions from the other group? Let's give them an applause. 